a mill pond before that for the old mill across the street, but they made it much bigger and started using it to harvest ice, as they did with the other lake in town, what is now best pond, I think, it used to be Burnhead Lake. Uh, where they cut ice and then they would take it down to Plainfield and they'd pack it in wagons, horse and buggies, and they'd pack it in salt hay, I think it was, and take it down and then they would sell it, take it to Plainfield Lumber. And they would take it down and sell it to everyone in Plainfield. My parents, they used to get on the ice as it was being cut and it used to float down into the um, hay barns or whatever they called them. And um, they used to get on the ice and they used to f stand on them and float down and then jump off and then run back and then take another big chunk and they ride down and that's some of their entertainment. There was a lake club. We used to swim at Wachung Lake and ice skate at Best Lake. And there would be a flag up, a green flag if it was safe to skate, and a red flag if it wasn't. Um, so we could, you know, skate there as we chose. That was a privately owned lake by a company. Um, Best was owned by the Best family. And <coughs> it was open to the public. There were the best left the light, their house in the light, uh, the light in the boathouse on all night for us, um, so we could skate at night. There was just, there was no adversity at all. I mean, everybody was. I mean, they were down there skating with us and too, and nobody said, you know, Mr. Best and Mrs. Best. And all the adults called them by their first name. Best light was shallower, so it always froze first, and. Uh, uh, and then Watch Arm Lake was, depending on the weather, of course, Watch Arm Lake was not that far behind. Um, but it was also not as protected from the weather as Best was. Best set a little further down. Saturday or Sunday afternoon in the winter, I think everybody from every town around was skating on Best Lake. It was. As I referred to my, in my book, I always look back at it as a, a picture out of the Saturday Evening Post of all the families. And the whole families were out there. That was the good part, was there were little kids that they were dragging around on sleds. And there were fathers like Barbara Deem's grandfather, who a million years old at least, was still out there skating past everybody else. <laughs> either there or on Watchung Lake. Being down in the center of town on the lake, 
the big lake, Wachung Lake. We did a lot of ice skating in the winter, and I had a friend that lived across the street where the firehouse is now. And we would take an old phonograph, and we would plug it into her house with lots of uh, wire and string it across the street and put it on the dock, and then we would pretend we were Sonia Henny, which nobody has heard of, but she was the famous ice skater back in the 50s or late 40s. And everybody ice skated on the lake. The, the um, whips, what the guys used to make a long train of people, and then they would flip you around and see who would fall off the whip. And it really was a great place to be as a young person. William, or Bill, as he was commonly referred to, was married to Betsy Wolford Titus, and they both lived together with their children on Hughes Lane. Bill founded Titus Land Surveying, which was passed on to his sons after he developed inclusion body myositis, and it forced him to retire. He passed away in 2002 at age 69 from this disease, but not before leaving behind a number of paintings, many of which you are viewing at this moment. He became a celebrity of sorts in town, painting scenes of Hua Chung and the surrounding areas while he was ill. He had a particular style that was very well received. Some of his original works can be found on display at the Hua Chung police station. One of his most popular paintings, Sledding on Hillcrest, shown here, depicts the simplicity of life in Hua Chung as Titus remembered it in the 1940s and 50s. The original Sledding on Hillcrest is on display at the Muscular Dystrophy Association's art collection in Tucson, Arizona.